Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is my inspiration photograph. This is my 18 by 24 inch canvas, which is probably not going to be able to be... You're not going to see the edges, but even if this is a stage one, and I'm going to assume it probably will be, the only way I know how to do this is to start. So I'm going to put my picture up over there. And I'm going to try and remember that I wanted to use a combination of Chantilly lace, French silk, and some other things to dampen the canvas with. I don't want an excess because then every time I swipe through with my spatula, which is what I'm going to use the OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula, preferably without that piece of paint on it. So I'm going to start just on one half of this. I'm going to make the, mix these up. I actually have a color that I don't know exactly what is, but I'm pretty sure it's got some, uh, some northern sky or definitely has some, some Chantilly lace, but it's thinner than some of the others. And I just want something in the background that doesn't necessarily show, but helps me get my paint spread. So I'm going to use that up as best I can. Put that aside for right now. All right, so steady my colors. You know what? I want to start the opposite way from the way I had it. I'm going to start with pinks and reds at the bottom. I might have to go back again tomorrow and add <coughs> that white spot. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. That's the sun in the picture if you go back. So I'm just making sure to cover this canvas. And that very pale blue frosted looking color is working out pretty well. I just want to cover the canvas with a nice layer of paint. And I better get working on it quick because I don't know how long a thin layer of paint is going to last. I just want to make sure I don't see any canvas really prominently. Then I'm just going to run my spatula across the line so they disappear. Okay, so I'm going to move that again. And I'm going to see That is some hot orchid. And I want to combine that with some big apple. And then I'm going to use some of my orange crush that has some big apple in it. And a few other little things here and there. Come on out. This is the Tuscan Sun with a little bit of orange crush in it. And I have some Twilight Orchid. And I have some Black Iris. I'm figuring I'll put my tree branches in tomorrow. But right now I just want to see how things spread. For me, that's a telling tale. Go back to the Big Apple and be a little more generous with the Hot Orchid and the Twilight Orchid. And I'm going to mix some of that Black Iris right in there. And I don't mind if my colors overlap. That is sort of the point. And I could definitely do this in stages so I could add layers. But I hadn't thought of that until now, so I guess that's not what's happening. I do have stuff in my paint that I want to pull out. And I have tweezers that are on my Amazon link. They're very sharp. 
stainless steel, which means you can soak them and even enamel paint will come off fairly easily. I've got wonderful drips going over the edge of my canvas. I'm just going to go back again. That is the big apple. I thought I put some carnation in there too. That was more of the hot orchid. Come on out faster. <laughs> I'm going to throw a little, little bit of this Tuscan sun with orange in it here and there and everywhere. And I need it to start to turn yellow. I have a mix of Tuscan sun and Chantilly lace. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to try some pink carnation. Hopefully you can see something I'm doing. That would not be good if you couldn't. I used to be a watercolorist, so I don't know if I have an instinct, but I do know that I don't mind letting colors play together. I'm going to keep going back. Putting more of that hot orchid in. Uh, excuse me, that's twilight orchid and the black iris and hope that I don't run out. Now where do I want some more of this? Yes I do. Some more of the orange crush big apple combination. I want something to mix over here. I'm going to use a little bit more of the hot orchid right there because I'm not sure what they'll mix up like, but I'm pretty sure it'll serve my purposes. Now I do need more paint. As soon as the canvas underneath shows through, I know I need more paint. That is really uncooperative. It's not coming out well at all. Unlike this, that is coming out very well. Now since there's going to be black tree branches over things, it's not imperative that I do a perfect job of this because I can always camouflage any missing spaces. And since all the colors are mixed, this was a wonderful sunset by the way. Sunset through the trees in Columbus, Ohio. Not even sure how much of this I can get done, but I am sure that that, whatever that is, doesn't need to be there. And it's still there. Hopefully I got it out this time. I'm pretty sure this is going to be gorgeous when it's dry. I did a painting I wasn't too sure about after playing it with it for a while, but I know that the Prism Pour Colors from Color Art, which by the way, there is a 20% off coupon underneath the video. Save the day. And they dried so pretty. I'm not sure what I called the video because I don't think I've uploaded it yet. Okay, so. I want more purple. And I'm only giving this the, giving the impression, you know. I can't do anything more than that. move some of these things back out of the way so I have some elbow room for a second. I did think I was going to take a bunch of tops off. I think I'm going to go back. So 
Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm focused. I do want to take some of the paint that I've got on my spatula and let it go over the edge. And I don't know where these things are coming from, but at least I'm seeing them in time to get them out. I'm sort of floating the spatula as best I can. And I think I can mix the same colors together and do my edges afterwards. So I'm going to try and stop myself from worrying too much about this. And get busy turning it around. And seeing that thing that is also in there that needs to come out. Something evidently got polluted. send my pattern a little more curved up. Now it's time to study my picture and turn it over. Give it the French silk. Is that what that is? Yes, it is. And I'm going to give myself, I'm going to use this mix of Tuscan Sun with Chantilly Lace. And the Tuscan Sun with Orange Crush. And I think I have to clean off my spatula. And I refuse to waste any prison pour paint. So I'm going to take a moment, in spite of what I said, sort of use the drips I already see and get myself ready to wipe off my spatula. Except for that right there, and that right there. Oops, I created a problem. All right, I don't think a little tiny bit of color will hurt, but I don't want a whole lot. What else do I want down there? I want some more Orange Crush. Maybe a little more Chantilly Lace. Whoops, and I didn't want to bounce the bottle off the painting. Did I do that? No, but I came too close. I've got some green color in the sky, but I don't think I'm going to fret it. Where can I get rid of my colors right there. Let's wipe that off. My little few silicone mat has moved across the room. I was kind of hoping I could melt these. Together. I don't want to move things too far away so I lose them. But I need some clear space. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Just going to use the colors that are on my spatula. Try and create a zone between the two color palettes because they are very distinctly different. I 
I don't know how much of this you can see. I'm basically just swiping with my spatula. And then putting the colors back down again. I'm going to go back in the wrong direction. I think that's a good idea. Pull some of the color down in. It's still going to give the impression, except for those lumps. Those lumps will give a bad impression. All right, so I've got three minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork. And I'm still thinking that this is only part one because I don't want to rush and try and do anything with tree branches now. So as soon as I'm done spreading this paint, I'm going to call it the end of part one. So right now I will tell you I have over 2,400 videos. I encourage people to make donations <laughs> to uh, help support the production of videos. And I really appreciate everybody who has made a donation. Thank you so much for helping keep, keep me painting all this time. I had some other colors I was going to put in here, but I'm not unhappy with what I've got. And I do want to try and add some French silk and see what happens with that. And maybe a little more yellow. Just the French silk I use just to blend. I'm like I'm trying to like learn to love the striations in the sky, which I kind of do anyway, but it's hard to explain. I want them to look natural and organic. I really like things to stop appearing. Might be a pretty painting without the tree. <laughs> Maybe for another time. We'll see how I feel about it tomorrow. I think my timing is good because my paint is just beginning to get a little sticky. But I am catching all of these weird little things that don't belong. This was a slightly damaged canvas in that it was kicking around my studio so long that it got some scuff marks on it from somewhere. So I like the fact that there's going to be tree branches because I know if I'm diligent I can camouflage them all. And I suppose I could probably give myself the opportunity if I wanted to try to put a second coat on. So. What did I not tell you? My link tree is below the video and it has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is a Facebook group for students of Expressionism, I guess. Now it's changed somewhat and, uh, and mostly acrylic pouring. I'm going to take, I'm going to try. 18 by 24 inch canvases are a little larger for my studio than and some other things. I think I could probably get away with sticking a spatula in. I've got just a minute left to tell you whatever I'm going to tell you, which at this point is I'll see you in part two. And uh, thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the kind words and the comments that keep my morale boosted. And uh, I love you. And I will try and shimmer this at you if I have 20 seconds left in a moment, but I want to get the paint off my spatula. And I think I did a fairly decent job of getting the impression in the background of everything I wanted to. I'll show you again. There's the picture. Let's get down here and see if I can turn my phone on. I lost the phone button on my armored case into a painting <laughs> and found it today. And it'll be tomorrow's video, but you don't know which day that is. So let's do... I hope you can see that. I can see all kinds of stuff that I need to 